Hello folks, I'm Lewis. I welcome to Tabletop Assassin. Today, I'm gonna talk about how to get out of these pesky pots. So we're gonna go from this to, to this dropper bottle. All right, so this is, hopefully will be kind of quick and dirty to show you. Um, <clears throat> so what, what we're gonna do is you're gonna obviously need some, some Citadel pots. Um, something I like to use is uh, I'll get some airbrush thinner. Um, you can use water also. Then um, I recommend some steel balls. Don't need them, but I, I recommend them. You need something to stir with. This is what I kind of like to stir with. It's a pry tool that I use in one of these toolkits I had. And then you're gonna need these. Lots, well not lots, but you need kits for bottles. Um, and these are kind of cool. Got, these aren't as good as like the Vallejo bottles and things like that, but they're a really good substitute. You know, um, so we'll get a, a bottle ready here, and I'll, I'll put some links below to what I was using here. I could go a little bigger than I did. I think I went with like 16 or 20 no, I can't remember. Um, when you're doing this process, make sure you always get these tips out. Um, I actually made a mistake when I was doing this not too long ago, and um, I put a bunch of these balls together and didn't put the tips in. I went to go shake my paint and it started coming out of the cap. So make sure you do that. Then you're gonna need uh, like a little funnel. Then I also recommend like um, paper towels, maybe some water to have on hand. So what I'll do first is you'll know, open your pot here. and you'll put some thinner in it. I don't really have an exact science for how much. I just go in there and squirt some in because we got a whole pot. We want to thin it out. So I'll scrape this paint off the top of the lid. Try to get as much of it in there as I can. You know, usually when you paint, you're thinning. You're thinning out anyways, so, you know. So now that you got that, just go ahead and stir. Stir it up real good. You can kind of check the consistency. Um, it's pretty, pretty thin. What I recommend stirring as opposed to shaking. Um, we're not James Bond here. So you got that. So it's pretty Pretty thin, like the way it's looking. You know, just like I said, just get it to like kind of the consistency you would if you're kind of painting. Now, if you do this with water, I think water can evaporate a little bit as your process goes on. So now you'll take and you'll put your your funnel in here, and then we will start to pour pour our lovely paint into here. And I, I try not to like fill it up. I try to aim right down the center of the funnel if I can help it. Just because I don't want to, I mean, you're going to waste paint and paint dries and all kinds of stuff happen, especially these pots. So, I mean, you're going to have paint loss one way or the other, whether you're doing this or you're just naturally using your pots. So we still got some paint in there. We've got about half of our bottle full. Put a little more in here. And I want to get the stuff off the sides and crap like that. So now I'll squirt some in there and then I'll just shake this. Shake, 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 shake. Now that will just kind of loosen up some, some more of that. You know, you want, you want to be careful. You know, you don't want to make it too horribly thin. You know, like, like I said too, you can use water and you know, water will kind of, you know, I would assume dissipate a little bit over time. Whereas thinner is kind of, you know, it's thinner. So I'll pour some more in here. Oop. You can do that as many times as you want, really, I guess. It's up to you. So I'm pretty happy with where that's at fill-wise. So I'll get that funnel out of there. What I do next 
because I like to drop one of these little steel balls in there. You can buy these in bulk, they're really inexpensive. Um, just plop it right in there. Make sure you put your nozzle on. So as I said, I've uh, forgotten to do that before and that's something you do not want to forget to do. And you just tighten this up, it locks up. Now here's a great thing. You know, what color is that? How do you know? Well here, it's simple. This right here, this label, will peel right off. Just uh, carefully, like that. I, what I usually do with this is I start it kind of in the center. Now, personally, I'm gonna get away from G, GW paints eventually. And, um, but in the meantime, the ones I do have, I'm going to, uh, you know, do this with. And even if I occasionally have to get another paint, you know, um, from GW, I'll end up doing this too. But there you go. You got your dropper bottle there. You shake it, you got the, you can hear that in there. It helps shake real good. I guess I like having the steel ball in there. And, you know, like I said, if you open this, you're good. Paint's not getting all over the place. Well, guys, I hope this was a help. Um, you know, please like, subscribe, and check out some more of the content. See you later. Bye.